I think Nissan alone cannot do everything. It's very important to listen to the voice of the customer. So that's one reason that we have to you know, invite the uh, customers to talk with the actual drivers in order to understand what's going on. But at the same time, we want to make the momentum and we want to have the owners talk for themselves. Word of mouth is going to be a very powerful way to convince people and to escalate what we're doing, why this is necessary. We've already sold 46,000 uh, uh, Leafs uh, throughout the world. So this is quite amazing speed. The sales of Nissan Leaf or the number of Nissan's, Nissan Leaf uh, running on the road is the leader. It's the apparent leader throughout the world. The customers are satisfied. But we're not stopping here. We're going to boost up and we will accelerate this momentum. We will um, do everything that will uh, pursue the zero emission strategy further on. When the first hybrids came out, probably um, the first two years they sold about 30,000. In two years, we sold 46,000. And the technology is much newer. Again, we're not stopping here. We're going to boost. Uh, we will um, uh, localize the production of Nissan Leaf in US and UK. So that will accelerate the expansion as well. We have Pure Drive. This is the improvement of current uh, ICE vehicles, internal combustion engine vehicles. But we do have this first step, zero emission, 100% uh, uh, pure electric battery EVs, electrical vehicles. But now in the future, we may have uh, FCEVs, fuel cell uh, vehicles. But we're committed to this zero emission strategy. You know, looking at the world or environment, it's evident that this climate change is happening. Something is going wrong. So in order to have uh, this, this vehicle mobility in the future for our sons or for our uh, children and grandchildren, I think zero emission strategy is mandatory. That is why we are so committed in order to pursue this strategy go for further. In the future, there's going to be a lot of types of zero emission vehicles and fuel cell EVs will be one type. Probably it will suit better for the bigger cars, um, but we will also have to work on the um, infrastructure side as well. So, but, but the technology is quite common between the battery EV and fuel cell EV. So that, from that point of view, I think uh, Nissan has a very strong leadership in the zero emissions technology. We expect in 2020 probably the um, share of EVs will be around 10%, which means 90% of the cars still will be internal combustion engine vehicles. So we will have to continuously uh, move on to improve the, the ICE vehicles as well. Wow, never know. Well, I, I think in the future, there will be various technologies on the road. Probably um, the option of EV will be one kind of powertrain, fuel cell will be another type of uh, powertrain. All other you know, type of uh, technology will be hitting the road, I think.